In today's video, I'm going to cover 30 mods and resource packs that transform Minecraft into a horrifying zombie apocalypse. All of these mods are available for 1.19.2, making this the only zombie apocalypse mod pack available for the newest version of the game. To save you some time, I assembled all the following mods and resource packs into a mod pack linked below. Now to start things off, we have two mods that are critical in making Minecraft into a zombie apocalypse. Bad mobs, which allows you to disable non-zombie mobs like creepers and skeletons, and mob sunscreen, which prevents our rotten friends from burning in the sunlight. In this mod pack, the bad mobs config has already been tweaked to only allow the spawning of zombies. Instead of using a mod that completely alters vanilla terrain and consequently messes up structure generation, I decided to stick with something a little more low-key for terrain generation. Ecologics is a mod that finely tunes various vanilla biomes, giving them a breath of life without completely altering them. Using this mod alongside Project Vibrant Journeys, all of Minecraft's biomes get a nice makeover. Phillips Ruins, Structury, and Choice Theorem's Overhauled Villages are three mods that add some completely new and unique structures. The former two add various rundown, completely ruined structures ranging from small debris piles to massive buildings, while the other mod overhauls villages, adding new types that spawn in different biomes. I personally love the mix of these three mods. The various ruins really drives home the idea that the world is falling into ruins, while the overhauled villages suggest that there are still humans out there surviving. In addition to these three, the Lost Cities mod is another great mod to add as well. The mod adds a variety of destroyed cityscapes full of spawners and loot. Conveniently, you can also customize cities, changing their appearance, how often they generate, their size, and more. You might also find small buildings here and there, thanks to a unique mod called Human Companions. The mod adds passive player-like entities which you can find in their homes throughout your world. Give them food to befriend them, whereupon they will essentially become your pet. You can tell them to fight, to guard, to stay, and you can even equip them with armor and tools. There is nothing better than flying over a destroyed city or driving down an empty highway in post-apocalyptic Minecraft. Let me tell you, it is such a vibe. So I made sure to include the Simple Planes mod and Ultimate Car mod so you can join in on the fun. Simple Planes gives you two flying vehicles, the plane and the helicopter. Both need to be powered and have their own challenges, but are still fun to travel around in. The Ultimate Car mod gives you a plethora of craftable cars with various looks, speeds, and sizes. All of them are a joy to drive, but require regular fuel ups, maintenance, and occasional batteries to operate. If you are interested in either of these mods, I suggest you watch a full showcase. I have a few videos explaining these mods in more detail linked down below. Minecraft's combat system and tools might cut it for the vanilla game, but we need something better for a zombie apocalypse, namely some guns, better armor, and updated combat mechanics. To start the section, we have Mr. Crayfish's gun mod, which is pretty much the best gun related mod I have found for 1.19.2. Everything about it is perfect, the sound, recoil, model, and crafting process. It can't get any better than this, that is until you download the additional guns add-on, which adds many more types of guns, each with different firing styles, damage output, customizability options, and more. Just look at all these guns, there is so much possibility. Better Combat is a newer mod that recently has caused quite a stir. It overhauls the animations of swinging any form of weapon, making it tons more realistic than vanilla arm swinging. It is similar to the Epic Fight mod, but it has better first person animations and is compatible with Mr. Crayfish's gun mod. Use this with the Simply Swords mod, which adds tons of melee weapons, and you have yourself a zombie apocalypse of epic proportions. If you happen to survive to the late game, with the upgraded netherite mod you have the option to craft armor, tools, and items more powerful than base netherite. They all have unique properties as well, which can give you an edge over the hordes of the undead. Top all these mods off with the swing through grass mod, and this section is done. Now to fully appreciate a zombie apocalypse, we need to revamp Minecraft's sounds. The following three mods do just that. First, we have the Presence Footsteps mod, which overhauls the sound made when the player walks or runs. Each block makes its own sound and can change depending on the weather. 
Next we have Sound Physics Remastered, which overhauls all sound, changing it depending on the location where the sound is coming from. For example, sounds will echo in caves, some sounds have higher reverberation, and sounds coming from behind blocks will sound muffled. Finally, Ambient Sounds 5, which gives each biome its own background ambience, is always a good one to have as well. Overall, these three mods make Minecraft quite a bit more immersive and terrifying, especially when you hear the echoing screams of zombies in a city at night. To give this zombie apocalypse a heightened sense of terror, the following mods will increase the difficulty of various aspects of the game. First, Toughest Nails, which puts a temperature and thirst bar on your HUD. Temperature varies depending on the biome and what time of day it is, and the thirst bar functions similar to a hunger bar, depleting faster the quicker you move and depending on which biome you're in. Next, Enhanced Celestials, which gives you a chance at blood moons that spawn lots of mobs during the night. And First Aid, which changes the health system, requiring you to heal yourself with bandages and plaster instead of just food. In addition to all these mods, here are a few others that don't necessarily fit in one of the categories listed, but are good to add nevertheless. Farmer's Delight adds a ton more foods and plants to grow and find. Mouse Tweaks makes inventory and chest management much easier. Enhanced Visuals, which adds particle effects to your screen when you are injured. Serene Seasons, which as the name suggests, gives your world all four seasons. And finally, Comforts, a mod that gives you a sleeping bag and hammock. Now you have probably noticed that throughout this video the zombies don't look or act anything like normal Minecraft zombies, which is thanks to two stellar resource packs. The first is Tissue's Zombie Pack, which gives zombies an almost endless variation in appearance, adding over 1,000 different textures. The resource pack also adds 100 different sounds to zombies, and the second resource pack is Fresh Animations, which alters how entities walk, run, and behave in general. These two resource packs alone make massive improvements to zombies, and it wouldn't be the same without them. That's all the mods and resource packs you need to turn Minecraft into a zombie apocalypse. If you are interested, I've made these into a mod pack linked below. Even though I changed Minecraft's combat quite a bit in this video, if you are looking for a complete overhaul with lots of armor, weapons, and tons of guns, then watch this video right here.